You wake up, it's January 1st, 1999, what do you do first? Am I in my 1999 body and life or in my 2023 body? Party like it's 1999? With my current knowledge? Try not to freak out my parents by talking like I'm 32 years old. Exploit any and all knowledge of the future for financial gain. Enjoy the fuck out of the pre-9-11 world for the next year and a half. Edit sorry, little over two and a half years. Woohoo! Start selling Y2K survival kits. Realize how addicted I am to my smartphone. Panic because I would have to go through high school again. Am I me as I am now transported to 1999 or me as I was back then but with today's knowledge? Because if it's the latter, I get up and start making the tough decision on whether I want to play with my Easy Bake Oven or my PlayStation first. Then I'll consider if an 8-year-old can realistically find a way to avert 9-11. Go to court to testify that a young me should not return to my parents' custody. Call my dad, tell him I love him and get him to go on a two-week father and son trip together one last time. He passed away 1-18-99. I was 17 foot. Start betting on every major sporting event that I can remember the outcome for. Use my winnings to invest in Amazon and Google. Try not to trip into a cryo-freezer while delivering a pizza. Invest in Google then buy Bitcoin in a few years. Edit also Apple, Amazon, Facebook. I'm going to hold my two-year-old who died at the age of 18. Find my mom. Hug her and never let go. Play Spyro the Dragon on the PS1 with my dad. He died three years ago and I would love just one more of those magical days. Be a better son to my mom and a better dad to my firstborn. Go to the hospital my dad is in and don't leave his side for the next two and a half weeks. He passed Jan 18, 1999. Absolutely kill it at school. Oh hi Cutty how was your Christmas? I learned a lot of math. Like an undergraduate worth of math. Buy Apple.26 and hold. Buy as much Amazon stock as I can. You now have a little more than two years to prevent 9-11 and just a little over four months to prevent Columbine. Good luck. Kiss my 23 years younger body. I make love to my wife and tell her how precious she is and I treat her the way she deserved to be treated all these years, and work really hard not to be such an asshole. Quit smoking cigs. Scrounge as much money as I can and buy out of the money MSFT, AMZN, CSCO call options with January 2000 expiry. Sell them in January 2000 and make a fortune. Use the money to buy put options on all the same stocks. Sell those options in 2003 and make an even bigger fortune. Then back to call options. Bail out of them in 2008 and go back to puts. February 2009 by AAPL NFLX GOOG. By Tesla and FB when they IPO. Then I'm not sure. Two chicks at once. File for divorce and not waste the next 20 years with her. I'll be nice. Break up with that bitch. She's cheating on me, but I didn't know it yet. Throw on some JNCOs and a puka necklace. Find my disc man and listen to Limp Biscuit. Run into the kitchen, hug my dad and eat apple jacks together. I miss him. Step 1 Wait 8 days till January 9th. Step 2 Buy first edition Pokemon cards on release day. Step 3. Step 4 Profit Wonder why I'm alive. Shit my pants because I'm an infant again. Bet on mankind to beat rock for the title. Go back to sleep. Tell everyone what's going to happen in the next few decades. So they can avoid it. Apply to all those jobs requiring 5 years experience with tech that's only 3 years old. Try to warn people about 9-11.
fail to be taken seriously because I'd be a seven-year-old girl. Bust out a print CD and party. Tell my mom I love her with all my heart, and save up as much money as humanly possible for Bitcoin. If it was January 1, 1999, I would still be with my fiancé. First thing I would do is immediately break it off with her knowing exactly what the future holds. That's the very first thing. Then the obvious stuff like investing in specific companies. Kill Hitler. Duh. Cry a lot, and curse the universe for making me go wait through all this shitty again. Buying as much Apple stock as I can afford at 32 cents share. Find my dad, and we hitting up every NU Metal concert in America. Poof right out of existence, because I'm roughly two years before my birth face with tears of joy face with tears of joy. Hit snooze and go back to sleep. Blast some prints now and every day for the next 364 days. Start a social news aggregation, content rating, and discussion website. I'll name it Reddit. Thank the universe for giving me another chance to set things right in my life. Have an existential crisis and then cry because my son doesn't exist yet, and I DK if he ever will because the chances that he will be conceived at the perfect timing to form my son as I know him will be slim. Invest in Google P. Bet on every football game. Spend time with loved ones that have passed. Tell them the things I wish I could have before they were gone. Dodge my ex, party more, prepare a rig for mining Bitcoin early, bet on big sports events and Bears games. It would suck waiting 24 years to watch some new sports, presuming my bets don't butterfly affect the results. Also leave New Orleans long before Hurricane Katrina, probably to Vegas where all the sports books will ban me. Party for the next 364 days. Tell everyone to vote for Al Gore. Tell my sister not to marry that man, or the next one. Cry. Immediately freak out and cry. I can't do it again, man. Don't make me. Please just kill me. Re-fucking Joyce. I'm nine years old again, I've been given a second chance. Running to see my wonderful son who died in 2019. In 1999, he was an amazing nine-year-old and I would die to have time with him now. Get ready for school and start plotting my savings plan for buying a bunch of Bitcoin when it drops lol. Watch Ron Dane and the Badgers beat Uckler in the Rose Bowl. Buy Amazon stock. Start a PSA campaign in Florida about how to properly use their voting system. Move to Florida and try to become an influential member of the state election committee. Give Tom Brady $500 in exchange for 50% of his career NFL earnings. Teach my 20 years old self how to maintain a goddamn budgeting spreadsheet. Hum, I didn't exist in 1999. My earliest memories are from early to mid noughties. Probably sit around playing Pokemon Red I got for Christmas 1998. Buy property. Not marry my wife. Well I wouldn't have been born yet, so. Swim around I guess. I would buy at least 100 com domains. Like an etc. Hug my dad. Play Ocarina of Time. What else? I recall beating the game on January 4th. I pretended to be sick on the first day back to school. What else could anyone do? The Lava Temple and the Dragon Boss Woman hashtag frying pan with egg kiss mark also, the snowstorms back then in Ontario were massive, so I'd enjoy that, too. Kiss my dad. Then tell him to get a fucking colonoscopy. Exhale in a sigh of relief, vow to do everything different, then proceed to do everything the same.